Yo, 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 guys, welcome back again today. Today, we're going to be talking about a legendary baseball player, and let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about Ken Griffey Jr., also known as George Kenneth Griffey Jr., and he was born in 1969 in Donora, Pennsylvania, to parents Alberta and Ken Griffey Sr. In Ken Griffey Jr.'s early years, he would spend majority of his time at the ballpark watching his father play baseball. At the time, his father would just complete his first minor league season with the Cincinnati Reds minor league farm system. King Griffey Jr. would mimic his father and even swung plastic baseball bats frequently as a young boy. Baseball was in his blood, and his grandfather even played alongside legendary baseball player Stan Muzio. In 1973, Ken Griffey Sr. was called to play with the Cincinnati Reds. The family would then relocate to Cincinnati, Ohio. Griffey and his little brother Craig would spend their childhood at the Riverfront Stadium. Griffey and his brother would also hang out with baseball stars such as Tony Perez. Griffey Sr. would quickly become a star at the Cincinnati Reds. He helped win the 1975 and 1976 World Series. Ken Griffey Jr. would soon go on to play organized baseball, and he was so good, parents on the opposing teams thought he was too old to play in the league. This led to his mother carrying his birth certificate to every game to prove his age. His father would travel throughout the year as a professional baseball player, but still taught his sons important lessons. During one event in his teen years, Ken Griffey Jr. would hit a home run and rounded all the bases pumping his fists. His father would not like this and was waiting for him at the home plate to lecture him about sportsmanship. After this lesson, Ken Griffey Jr. would never flaunt after a play again. He would soon attend Archbishop High School in Cincinnati. He would become the U.S. High School Baseball Player of the Year in 1987. By high school, Ken Griffey Jr. was 6'3 and 195 pounds. He would play on both the football team and baseball team, and by senior year, Ken Griffey Jr. was being scouted by major league scouters. He was so good that some games, there were more scouters than there were fans. On June 2, 1987, he would be drafted by the Seattle Mariners and received $160,000 as a signing bonus. He was also drafted number one that year in the baseball league. The Seattle Mariners were an expansion team in 1977 and never had a winning season. Ken Griffey Jr. would graduate two days later from high school and four days later he would be in Seattle at his first professional practice. This would prove a lot for a 17 year old that was on his own for the first time in his life. Nevertheless, in 1989, Jr. would go on to lead the team with 14 home runs, 14 runs batted in or RBIs, and 13 steals. His father was still playing outfielder for the Cincinnati Reds as well. The Baseball American Magazine would name him the league's top major league prospect that year. Ken Griffey Jr. would turn into one of the best all-around players in baseball history. He is also known for his over-the-wall catches, powerful home runs, and mastery of defense and offensive in baseball. In 1994, he received the most votes ever, 6,079,688 votes to play in the All-Star game. He was so good at hitting home runs that four of the 11 seasons he played, many people thought he would surpass Hank Aaron's all-time home run record of 755 home runs. This did not happen though, due to Ken Griffey Jr. injuring himself. A rare event would be occurring as well. Ken Griffey Jr. and his father would play for the Seattle Mariners together from 1990 to 1991. This would be the first time a father and son would play on the same team and at the same time in the MLB. Junior and Senior would play on the same team until his father retired in 1991. During the 1990 season, Ken Griffey Jr. would prove his worth as a center fielder and a hitter. He would also win his first Gold Glove Award and play in the All-Star Game. His fielding was so good that he won the Gold Glove Award from 1991 to 1999. In 1997, he hit 56 home runs and batted 147 runs. This would get him selected for the Most Valuable Player Award. In 1999, Junior wanted to play closer to his family's home and requested to be traded to the Cincinnati Reds. His father was a coach on the team at the time and would now coach his son once more. King Griffey Jr. would struggle with injuries in Cincinnati, 
but still remained dangerous with his home runs. 2004 would make Junior the 20th major league player to hit 500 home runs, and in 2000, 2004, and 2007, he would join the National League All-Star team. In 2008, he would hit 600 home runs, joining legends such as Barry Bonds, Babe Ruth, and Sammy Sosa. That same season, he was traded to the Chicago White Sox. Also in 2008, he would become a free agent for the first time in his career and sign with the Mariners once again in 2009. The Mariners would sign him for a one-year contract worth $2 million plus incentives. This would send excitement to fans in Seattle, but Junior's lack of playing time and declining on field play would lead him to retire in 2010. Junior finished his career with 630 home runs, .284 batting average, and 1,836 runs batted in. Only six years later in 2016, he would be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. During his career, he signed many deals with world-known companies such as Nintendo and Nike. Some even say he restored the good image of Major League Baseball in the 1990s. He also appeared in Major League video games and was on the cover multiple times. He also had shoes such as the popular Nike Air Griffey Max, and Ken Griffey Jr. is married with three children, one of them being adopted. So yo guys, today we talk about a legendary baseball player. Some would say maybe one of the best baseball players of all time, if not the best baseball player of all time, and it's Ken Griffey Jr. If you guys have never heard of him, there's a lot of people of African descent in baseball. Baseball, like I've told you guys before, was the pastime of America. Baseball at one point in the early 1900s was bigger than the NFL. It was bigger than the NBA, both of them combined. It was bigger than football and basketball combined. Baseball was America's number one sport. So yo guys, we learned about Ken Griffey Jr. Please like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification down there so you always get my notification. I know it's a lot of you guys that watch don't subscribe, so please, please subscribe. And also add me on all social medias, which is Afric Network, which is Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, SoundCloud, and Facebook. Each one teach one. Always love each other. Always learn from each other. Always stick together. Always share knowledge. And yo guys, till next time, keep hitting them home runs. Peace. One love.